What's up? It's Marco, Sage of Soccer. And today I want to discuss something that's a bit more of like a freeform topic than like a lot of my other videos. And basically it's brought on because this past window we saw, I guess, the emergence of Luca de la Torre on the international stage. And that was shocking to a lot of pundits, a lot of journalists who really just didn't see this performance coming. But I think to me and basically every informed fan, this was expected was not a shock. We knew that he had this performance in him. We thought that his performances in the past and his pretty good work in Holland deserved more time, and we were right. And because that, I just want to put out like a little bit of a message to fans of this team and this team's community, and that's trust your eyes, believe what you see. Because there are a lot of times with a lot of players where if they're not called up, you start to hear the excuses. You start to hear... Oh, I'm sure the manager knows better. What do we know? We're only fans. Well, we got this one right. And we've gotten more right than wrong a lot this window. I mean, seriously, out of the guys who we really didn't want to see called up, Brooks Lennon did nothing. I mean, legit, he didn't play at all. Yazzie Zardes, worst striker we had. Jordan Morris, no contribution. Pretty bad play this window, at least coming back from his injury. Paul Riola, nothing. Failed bicycle kick, that's about it. Like, even somebody who I'd like to stick up for, Reggie Cannon, he didn't have the greatest performance either. Like, I feel like this community is smart enough to realize we are smart enough to trust what we see. If we see a player really standing out and deserving a call-up to this team, we're probably right. Now, this doesn't mean, like, I'll be blind, don't change your opinions at all. Like, obviously, learn, grow. But at the same time, like, don't let people tell you that what you're seeing doesn't exist. Because just think about the, back to some other things, like Jackson Ewell's inclusion in this team. We were all against it, and we were proven right. The over-reliance on Tim Ream. That's another thing. Chris Richards. Playing Tyler Adams at right back. Do you remember that? Do you remember how it seemed like Tyler Adams was going to be a fit for the system at right back with the inverted fullback? And that, that's another thing, the inverted fullbacks. Jeez, like, like the false nine thing, I don't think it's going to work out. At least not with Jesus Ferreira. He's a good player, but at this point, trust what we see. We know what Daryl DK can do. We know what, how Jordan P. Falk is scoring. We've seen Ricardo Pepe's performances. He's going through a rough patch right now, but guess what? We're still winning when we put him up front. This Honduras game, I feel like that's a bit of an exception because they were just so bad, but he shows out, and we look good under him. And, geez, like, again, this isn't like a don't change your opinions on any player. Like, for a while, I wasn't sold on Matthew Hoppy. I thought he just happened to get a couple goals. When you see him play in the Gold Cup, jeez, that was a good performance. And maybe somebody I was a little bit too high on, like Matt Miazga. But the, su the success rate of this fan base is pretty good, and we're actually able to change our opinions very well. So, just make sure, like, when you see a narrative, if you don't trust it, go with your gut. Because I'm looking at things right now, you can't tell me that John Brooks wouldn't be positive in this team. And I'm looking at how our center backs performed this window, and the ability that he has on the ball, what he's done for us in the past, and this was something that... <laughs> basically sparked this. I was going back and looking at that Nations League game. Aside from him being our best player, he was actually named to the team of the tournament. So, geez, those two World Cup qualifying games, I guess that completely changed the entire perception of him because, yeah, I guess two games really means a lot. So, with that, and someone like Joe Scaly, we see his talent, and when he gets the chance, he's going to perform. He's going to be a great player for us moving forward. So, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to see. say, like, Trust what you see. We knew Luca would impress. He did. Now, don't get arrogant. Make sure you keep changing your opinions. But at the same time, stick with your guts. And honestly, this is just good advice in total. Trust what you see. Despite what people tell you. At least I'm self-aware enough to wear a Green Day shirt. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I want to say. Trust what you see. We know, we know how good this team is. That's all I'm talking about right now. See ya.